Yeah, no, but the, now though you don't have to. They're take they're, they're tracking every stroke made on your keyboard on your thing. If every button that is pushed is is, is tracked by the phone companies, I think the operating systems on. I think what it was Apple said, well, we no longer have that system. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but not until after they got caught. Google, uh, Android has got it, where everything you do, every place you go, everything, every every time you touch your keyboard on that thing for any reason, it tracks it. Remember, if you've ever watched these shows, remember something happens, they go back to somebody's computer, and they're like, well. You know, you must be guilty because you saw you did this keyword. Yeah. Right. You know, they've done it in, in real life, not just television cases, mm -hmm. right? So could you? It's like, oh, she must be guilty because she looked up this word. Okay. I mean, no. I mean, I've sat there. Um, I'm, 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 this is how it works, though. I sat there last night and plugged in words that are not allowable to be used on our on our new site. Oh, really? Well, because we're in we're in the, we're basically we're on site we're on suspension from one site we're on because of comments people have made. Not that we did. No, the, not, not from did. material that was put up, but from the comments that they made. And you can't, you know, because advertisers didn't like it. So I basically, I went through and I'm typing in words that I, what are they saying over there? Okay, I think I still got more words that I have to put in. Go so back you, and see. So you can uh, delete, so they can't make comments with certain words in it. But and if they have, uh, if there, if any of these words show up in the com in, in any comments, it basically bans the comment from being posted. Ah, I didn't yeah. know we could do that. I know a very sophisticated way of doing it, but um, wow. But uh, it, this is how this is how sophisticated people are getting you. You know, so these people that understand that analytics are have to change. The uh, the people running trade shows don't know it. Most of the advertising agencies still don't. They're they're brick and mortar firms. Mm -hmm. They're firms that uh, well we have to have eyeballs. Well, not anymore. Well, here's the idea: is if you can search for a word and find everywhere that shows up, you can also block search and block a word. Yeah. Remember that find and replace that's in your word processing. Yeah, they can basically <laughs> so, um, they ban. Um, companies are banning company. Um, they're banning you from using Twitter, Facebook. They're banning you from using the sites to go. Okay, for instance, like McDonald's has a, has a, a, a deal on their system that they have certain companies that you are not allowed to go. I think. Oh, to visit for from it. their place. Yeah, you cannot look at certain sites, and um, I mean, and some of the sites are, you know, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with them. It's just that they're. They feel that there's inappropriate material for a left-wing organization, well, and also which happens to be the stuff that they support. In, 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 you know, they go to court to support. Oh, because they support free speech. Free speech, unless it's in their building, and you can't do it in their building. So. Well, because McDonald's is a family business, so they probably restrict anything that little kids. Yeah, you know, but, they, uh, but the, the problem with the with the software is it also bans anything that. The, the people that are programming it think you shouldn't watch, which means, for instance, uh, you're pro. Let's say you're 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 pro Hungarian, and you're anti Mogarian. Guess what? You don't allow to be seen on in your building. Mogarian. Mm -hmm. Anything that has the the you know the Mogarian religion is banned in this in this building, but the Hungarian religion is perfectly acceptable. Yes, yeah, so much for free speech. No, there is no such thing as free speech. But um, I mean, uh, like I said, I, she's the she's the heavy business person, but I am the crappy analytical person. I hate this stuff. I go well, through. You know, one of the things that surprised me for the analytics, and this has to do with the Nielsen ratings, which has been for uh, who knows how long, been. They've been used as a basis for determining, well, the analytics for a television and the viewing audience. One of the things I didn't realize is it did not figure and did analytics, which was video on demand. Yep. Which was, it only paid attention if you watched it. So remember, if you have all these shows to watch and you can't watch all of them, that you saved it on video, right? Yeah. Or you did video on demand. And they, those were not included at all, which really surprised me. And it also cannot tell you... For instance, um, uh, okay, say you watch. Here's a good one. You watch the uh, part of NCIS and you tape the rest of it on your on your TV or whatever it mm -hmm. is, um, and it basically is not going to tell you how many people watch that. Yeah. It can tell you you watched it and you taped it, but. Um, 
See, there, there's a thing to be said about the diary that used to have to be filled out. Mm -hmm. Although we sort of probably, I, I can guarantee you, like, was, um, was it 1962, I think, God, that's a, you know, should be prepared. Did you fill out the her, diary? Her parents weren't even around. Her parents were not even, they think they were in grade school at that oh, time. Oh, fine, thank you. No, you um, know, she's a, she was, she was also, she was born in nunnery. But no, but what happened was, I had a mass communication class, and the, and basically, this is the olden days when they actually had agricultural. This was Los Angeles, a huge agricultural area when I was younger. There was farms everywhere. You know, we're talking orange groves, uh, lemon groves, uh, fig tree. You know, every other stuff growing. And they were getting ready. The college was getting ready to ask. You know, actually, what what the um, the broadcasting department over at the college, we'll tell you it begins with a U, so I won't tell you which college with a U in the area, but it's a university, it begins with a U, that's quite a big U. But uh, it's a, ag, the ag television was the only reason they had a broadcast department, so they wanted to keep the broadcast department by saying, so he said, the teacher gave us an assignment, go out and prove that people watch agricultural television in Los Angeles, <clears throat> which wasn't difficult. We, we, um, we went and kept rural phone books we cut the rural phone books up into areas that we uh, knew we had television antennas, folks. Oh yeah, because if they don't have TV antennas, they're not going yeah. to watch. Yeah, so we watched, we went down, we, we, we had like the 40 students in the class, we went out on our automobiles and we're looking and we're marking, we're basically you're marking on the, okay, uh, he's got a television antenna, he's got a television antenna. And then we cut all of these things, we cut, we did refer, we cut around them so there maybe there was two or three other things I didn't have, you know, but it was in a rural area anyway, so they're rural phone books. So, um, but uh, like I said, but probably one out of every three things had a television antenna. Mm -hmm. You remember some people didn't have television antennas until a television though. Mm -hmm. But um, so we did that and then we put in a thing and then we, we basically did the blind draw when we cut all these things out. and. Oh, who do you think were the ones that we went to in the blind draw? The ones that had TV sets. The ones that had the ones that were marked with television antennas. Ooh, imagine that. And then we went to the people with the television antennas and we blindly drew out of a thing. Guys, we just reached in and pulled them out. And then we go up there and we asked the person a simple question. Do you watch ag do you watch morning ag television? And the guy, well, no, I don't watch morning ag. And then the wife says, but I do because the weather's on it. Oh, then we watch morning ag. And then they say, you know, but, uh, and then you go to a place, Do you have you ever watched Morning Ag? Well, sometimes. You know, that's a, that's a watching it. You know, that we discovered that, that, uh, that uh, uh, X amount of the people, I think like two-thirds of the people in the rural areas watched agricultural television for the net. For, and it was a scientific thing. The teacher said, you know, I, I, I told everybody upstairs that people watched agricultural television. They just didn't believe me. Now they had this, they had, you know, they this, this they nice about statistics. that, you know, because we didn't, you know, I remember I went up to, I went up to some Russian, uh, and he goes, I, I don't watch, I don't watch television. And then he told me, we watch television. And he said, what you watch? And he said, we watch the, the, the actual because that's where they got the cowboy Bob. Cowboy Bob, yeah, well, they have the, the show, they have TV hosts on it. He hosts, ag, he hosts the ag TV show. Cowboy Bob, newsman. And they said, yes, we're in America. <laughs> <laughs> and the kids, because they, I'm from the era when people did other things. So here you got the kids. Why do you think Cowboy Bob did ag TV? Mm -hmm. Because he knew the kids would watch. Mm -hmm. And Cowboy Bob, remember, folks, this is Cowboy Bob coming to you from, uh, from uh, such as such as tune in after the show and I'll I'll have something fun for you. Ooh. They I mean, everybody cheats everybody. So we 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 fudge the analytics. The anal analytics are always fudgeable. So there's no such thing as a guaranteed way. But the best way you want to know if somebody's looking at your product. If you don't have any links on the internet, they aren't looking at your product. Yeah, that's for sure. If you, the more links you have to your product, the more. The more distribution you have. That's right. You want. We're not it. talking about web views. We're talking about distribution. That's right. It's it's about. It's just like um, look at. Uh, I want to try. Look as a link 
as if a link was um, a magazine. If you, if you have one link, you've only got one magazine being out there. Ten links, ten magazines. A thousand links, a thousand magazines. A hundred million links, you've sold up. You've got a hundred million magazines out there. Mm -hmm. The very fact that you have volume, you know, does it make, um, okay, people my age are told to go to hell by the advertising industry because we're not important. Who, who owns most of the houses in this country? Mm -hmm. Who owns most of the fine cars in this mm -hmm. country? Who do you see buying the expensive TV sets? Mm -hmm. The expensive furniture? Mm -hmm. It isn't the people, you know, my isn't grandkids type age. They don't have any money, they don't have any jobs. You know, so um, you, you can't describe, the analytics say I'm worthless. Analytics now, analytics say that she's worthless because she's not, she's, she's actually over 20. Mm. Yeah, see, they want teenagers, folks. Mm -hmm. They 18 to 30 is all they care about anymore. And they don't watch television. They don't look at movies. They don't watch this and that. They're, you know, we can guarantee you that if you put the TV set up there, they'll tell you. And they, they're playing second screen. Television is ambient noise. It's just like I pointed out a thing on my Facebook that, well, okay, everybody, most people know. I used to sing and dance and stuff and act a lot when I was younger. I have Turner Classic Movies at this time of year have a lot of musicals on. I'm sitting there every year have a lot. I'm editing video and other stuff, and here I'm coming up in the background, and I'm... And I say, God, he's bad. And then I look at the dancers around, and, oh my God, this is one of the best dancers in Hollywood. She sucks as bad as I did, you know. But she looked good without clothes on, so, you know, but, um, but, um, the, it, it, you said, it's, it, you can't measure, uh, okay, how, uh, you, you, we were talking about analytics. How, how does the, how do they know whether there's one person in my room ambient noising, you know, uh, say seven brides for seven brothers, or there's 20 people in the room? Mm -hmm. uh, the advertisers will tell you, well, you know, that one person is the wrong age. Well, what if the room is filled full of 18 to 30 year olds that just happen to be watching a 60 inch screen? Mm -hmm. They don't understand that. Mm -hmm. So the action well, they, now, Part of it is they don't know how to quantify it. Well, because they can't. The world, the world is a more complicated place than it used to be. So when um, you, you basically say, you know, F you to the internet, but we're going to get into social media. That is the that internet. That is the internet. That is the internet. They forget that. And I hate to tell you people, this is the big one. They lie when they put their ages and stuff down. <gasps> oh my God. They'll lie about sex. They'll lie about re what race they are. They'll lie about religion. They'll that, lie when they went to like, college. Is that like internet dating? Yeah, they'll lie. And you're going, what? What does that have to do with it? Okay. I know people that have done internet dating, yep. and one of the things they always said is the way you can tell, I, I mean, I know people that have done internet dating and they get all anxious about actually meeting the person because you put up the wrong picture that mm -hmm. was not them. I know. I know. I got a great picture of me. I'm, I'm, I'm in my tux. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm but that's, a, that's the same thing. It's, it's like it's all whatever the data is. It's like you're reading whatever data is there, and it's, it's only as accurate as what is posted. Yeah. I'm, I'm not Mr. Tux. I'm Mr. Tux when I want to go out to a function, but most of the time I'm very casual. Like this. Yeah, like this. I actually do wear shorts most of the time and the weather's halfway decent. I like going out because I burn heavier. But, um, so, you see, well, uh, I, I'll tell you an example of social media not working. An advertiser, we actually were set in on the advertising thing. Basically, you're doing a campaign for a major company and they had people fill out the stuff, you know, you know like us. Like us, you know, and if you like them, then they could go back and check on your age. My God, this a success. Nobody would buy the product. Well, because most of the people on social media lie like hell. Mm -hmm. So, but these people are all the, you know, they only, they targeted the ones that say 18 to like 40, and they're like, not, they're like 90 years old. Well, you know, if you're in the entertainment community, there's your real age and IMDb age. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're like, what? Well, you can lose families now. You can go from you can be a guy that's been married for 18 years and is nearly 40 years old to a guy that had, had been an actor since he was five years old. Now they start acting until he was 19 years old, and no longer had a family, and didn't even graduate from Loyola Marymount. 
Oh, and wasn't on the what wasn't in the Olympics, uh, mm -hmm. you know, 14 years ago. Whatever. That all disappeared, folks. That that can happen. So, the way they're handling analytics does not work because they cannot get it through their head. People lie. But here's the challenge with analytics: is that the, they use the analytics to justify how much money people should spend on advertising. Oh. Because they're they're, they're ass backwards on what they're doing. You can't. You cannot you count, you simply count the links, count each, like I said, count each link as if it was a magazine cover, magazine, because what they do, you know, how they count um, um, when there's overruns in magazines, they basically cut the, the, the first page off of the magazine and then throw the magazine in the trash. I mean, those magazine covers tell them how many people didn't actually buy it, for, that's the real count, is the magazine covers. You know, instead of basically, you know, saying, you know, let's count all the magazines, let us go, and then they send magazine covers back. That's how they used to count how many were actually not being sold. And there's a, okay, you say, well, shouldn't you know how many are not being sold? No, because X amount are given away. We see those at trade shows all the time. They yeah. get boxes and boxes and boxes of them. They give them away. And the giveaways can't be counted accurately. So what you do is the ones that come back, you know, that's what, that's, that you want to know how many are out there. And uh, you can't basically say, well, we published 10 million. And, oh yeah, but how many actually are in people's hands? Well, and then they count, the, they go, okay, we've got, uh, okay, we've got 9 million magazine covers back. Mm -hmm. See, they don't want the magazine back because they don't want to ship it, they just throw it in the trash can. Mm -hmm. But, um, it, you got to count, and basically, I'm probably going to, um, you know, I'm going to change it, you know, the title of this thing, I was going to change it, I think, you know, that you have to treat internet links like they were magazines. Ah, oh, actually, that's, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, but... It, I'd rather have a link because a link, basically, one link can get you a thousand links. A thousand links can get you ten thousand links. Ten thousand gets you a hundred thousand. A hundred thousand can get you a million. Mm -hmm. So... I mean, uh, like, uh, another example, we've got to remember that a lot of the views that people run up on YouTube are the same people all the time. They'll watch a, they'll watch a, um, a I mean, I know people that are on my Facebook, they basically, <laughs> she fell on her butt, folks. How did you do that one? I don't one? know, I put my foot in the back. You just, uh, hey, you just got to see, the, you got to see her in her best form. Folks. You so, <laughs> She fell on her butt standing upright. <laughs> so I feel like one of those goofs. Well, you have to see her fall. You know, that'd be a good one to cut that one out. So, <laughs> you know, so, I, know. I took myself. It's not like she doesn't do this every day in this house. Well, she does fall down every day too. So Can you believe? I know it's on camera. No, I didn't. 